In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make false marble backgrounds. And you can easily use these backgrounds for photography, videography, or really any sort of creative content you want to make. So let's get started, let's begin, and let's go outside and start spray painting. We are going to start this DIY off with two canvases. You're going to prep these with a simple layer of black spray paint. Now you can also use used canvases for this as well. I have one that is over towards my right that is a used canvas and it has a little bit of texture to it, but it won't matter. The black spray paint will go and cover everything up. So you're going to have your first layer, let it dry, and then you're going to apply a second layer. You're going to apply probably about three to five different layers of spray paint, but it all really depends on your canvas and how your canvas or your material takes to spray paint. After the second layer is dry, move on to a third layer, and then after that layer is dry, move on to a fourth layer if you need to apply more. Make sure to also get the sides of your canvas or material that you're using. After the black spray paint is fully dried, move on to white spray paint. Now I'm just spraying the spray paint from a distance away and it's creating little white splotches that are going down. Granite is going to have little splotches like this, so it's pretty important to do. Now mix up some white acrylic paint with water. The consistency of this paint should be pretty runny, but it also shouldn't be extremely runny. If it's too runny, what's going to happen is it's going to leave splotches and it'll spread out on your canvas and it's just not going to look good. What it needs to be is it needs to be just about runny enough with enough viscosity to the point that it's not going to be like this. You do not want splotches like this. But instead of splotches, what you want is you want lines that are exactly like this. You're going to need to test it a couple of times and make sure you have extra black spray paint to go and cover up any little dots that you do not want to be seen. After you have the perfect viscosity, go and create lines. Do this by dipping the paintbrush into the paint and very fastly going across the canvas. Before these lines end up drying, you're going to want to blend them out. So it is pretty warm outside when I was making this and the black spray paint really kind of just made it dry fast. But what you do is you take water and you blend the paint out. Use a squiggling motion with your fingers and blend every line slightly. You don't really want a solid line in the middle, but if you have a little bit, that's okay. Normally most granite is going to have veins anyway on it and you might have solid portions to also portions that are going to look feathered just like this. Every line that you put down, you want to feather it slightly, so it should be darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. Also, all of these lines should look a little bit different with how dark or light that they are. Before the water and the paint dry, if you want to go and add areas where it's darker, put down a small amount of paint and then blend it out. This is going to give a bit more definition between each and every one of the veins. You don't have to do this though, of course. You could do this if you want to, and if you want areas to really pop out in comparison to other areas. Just like what I'm doing in this video is exactly what you'd want to do, put paint down mainly in the center of a vein, and then just blend it out from there. After the white acrylic paint is dried, you're going to want to go back over it with black paint. I have the spray paint upside down because I want to create more of a splotchiness in comparison to just going and covering an entire area and making it way too dark. And then spray it a few times down with a gloss cover. After all the paint is dry, you can bring this inside, and you can take photos on it or use it for video footage. Here is what mine looks like, and yours should look pretty similar. Not only is this fake granite background easy to make, but it also looks good for photos, and it was only $2.50 in my case to make. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a great one.